Jump. off that exhausting hamster wheel and into balanced living with Dr. Marissa. I promise you joy in the mystery. Dr. Marissa, also known as the Asian Oprah. Her mission, to be a beneficial presence on the planet. Her purpose, to be your personal advocate to live, laugh, love, learn. Her life motto, don't die wondering. Take back your life with Dr. Marissa Pay. <laughs> And welcome. You're tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa, the morning show here on NBC News, CNBC News, and NBC Sports Radio Station, KCAA, AM 1050, FM 102.3, FM 106.5, and streaming everywhere. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Stitcher, Amazon Music, Audible, iTunes, TuneIn, Rumble, Tiki Live, Podchaser, and more. Why so many places? I want the maximum splatter zone because I'm on a happy 88 mission, 88 million more happy people in the next eight years. So the show has no gossip, no scandal, and no K words, no Kanye talk at all, because I want you to focus on your own reality show and how you can be happy 88% of the time. And so I have topics and guests to that end. And today's no exception. The uh, g- cute guy... <laughs> I shouldn't objectify you, but I have this wonderful young man that I met yesterday. He's uh, one of the leads on an 11 Indie Award winning short film called Purple Cases. And you're going to hear more from him in a minute. Uh, I've, I've, uh, uh, usually I have my guests start a little bit later and I asked him, are you going to be okay doing a, a breakfast with me on the air and uh, taking a bite of my gratitude sandwich? And he said, absolutely. So uh, I know I know his mom and his aunt are uh, eyeballing right now, and they can say hello in the chat if they'd like to. And uh, there's more than just your family uh, listening in right now. And very excited to bring you this particular short film that was uh, co-produced. One of the producers is a good friend of mine, Dr. Greg Reed, who called this week and said, um, could you, you want to cover my red carpet? I'm like, for what? <laughs> and then it uh, turns out it's this giant, uh, short film. So, um, without further ado, please welcome to my studio, James Wynn the third and hold it, hold on, hold on. There we go. <laughs> Welcome to my studio, James, and I'm got I'm glad that you uh, got here. And your camera's shaking just a bit. Can is there any way that you can set it somewhere, and that way um, I'm not uh, I'm not following the thing. So I'm going to take you off here for a second and let you figure that out. And uh, for those of you who are wondering what a gratitude sandwich is because it's the first time here. I believe that it is my job to start your day in the most positive way. And I think that a lot of people are not feeling good these days because they uh, start their day doing this. And this is my phone. And they go to social or they go to news and then get lost. Uh, The term now I think is doom scrolling. I think it's... um, for me, it's called uh, quicksand. <laughs> it's the it's the it's the touch and scroll quicksand, and you can lose time. And it's almost always negative news. And and even before the pandemic, that was the truth. So what I want you to do is to start the day instead of scrolling with positive gratitude. So Dr. Wayne Dyer, who's uh, now in heaven with my father, uh, he used to say five specific gratitudes in the morning. I'm an overachiever. So it's eight and eight's a lucky number in Chinese. It's a homophone for good fortune. See, you didn't know that, did you, James? So yeah. what we're going to do is do tag team gratitude. We're going to take a bite of the gratitude sandwich. So I'll start with one gratitude and then you do another and we'll do eight together. And then I'll talk about the bottom of the button. You ready? Okay. All right. So I'm grateful for that I have a car that I can go topless in, 
which means I have a convertible. <laughs> and last night after the event, it was just amazing driving on Hollywood Boulevard with the top down. So I'm grateful for that. What okay. are you grateful for? I'm grateful for that I have both my parents supporting me, full force, and my sister. Can't forget, my, shout out my sister too. And your auntie. And my aunt and uncle, those are my biggest, so I'm definitely <laughs> them. Beautiful, that's good. And and that's the rule, is you can't say I'm grateful for my friends and family. You have to be oh. specific. So oh, you okay. did, you did well, you did well. Okay. All right, uh, I'm grateful that I have an amazing view of the ocean of abundance outside my window. Here, I'll show you. Let's see if we can do this. You see that? Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you see the water? Great view. Isn't that great? Okay. So great. that keeps me creative. <laughs> what are you grateful for? I'm grateful that I have a car where I can get to and from set and to and from auditions at any time, regardless of the traffic. Beautiful. I'm grateful that I get to meet really cool, interesting people uh, as an occupational hazard. And um, it was lovely meeting your family as well. They were just like delightful. So I, I um, concur. They're Thank awesome you. people. Thank you. And you're uh, grateful for? Uh, I'm grateful for to be able to wake up every day and see what the day brings. Because you never know, like nothing's promised, so you never know. So definitely always grateful that I get to wake up every day. Awesome. I'm grateful that I juice my life because I know I'm never going to get this hour back or this day back. And I do not want to waste it being um, overly angry and stew in my juices or overly sad and stew in my juices because I love to laugh. It's my favorite sound in the world. So I want to do more of that. And I do. Last one. My last one. I'm grateful for, for God putting me in this opportunity. And, you know, let's see where we can go. You know, that's this great. Is only the step in, it's only the step in the right direction. So let's see where we can absolutely, go. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I wanted to bring um, James on because it's, it's a great, uh, for any, I know I have a lot of listeners who want to be in Hollywood, I mean Hollywood, and want to try the acting. So um, here's fresh, <laughs> fresh on the acting boat. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and we'll talk about that journey and sort of the things that you've learned as well. So that's why I have him on here. And then the bottom of the bun to finish off our breakfast oh. is what do you appreciate about yourself? And that's the bottom of the bun. And that's things that I want you tonight before you go to bed to verbalize and be conscious of. And the reason why I do this is because um, one of the reasons I think that so many people, even before the pandemic, we had what, one out of four on antidepressants or anti-anxiety. Um, now, you know, I'm calling it the PPSD, the post-pandemic stress dilemma, where mm. you, you just, you know, even the most positive people are having a difficult time staying positive because there's so much uncertainty and fear and loss. And I believe that the best prescription uh, to get you to claim your birthright to happiness is to know how to affirm yourself, know how to um, approve of yourself, know how to soothe yourself out of beating yourself up or thinking that you're, you know, a piece of shiitake or, you know, not, not a good person. And we don't learn this in school. And most parents, not yours, but most parents, the seven out of 10 of us, um, like myself, who grew up being told that you're not good enough or that you're, uh, I was told I was fat, ugly, and clumsy, don't develop that muscle to affirm who we are. So we run around with these little antenna going, you know, who loves me? Who likes me literally now? Who, how many likes do I have? How many comments? And it's like silly because we go to all, we go to, to looking for love in all the wrong places. So in order to combat that, I specifically want you all, myself included, um, Polly included, uh, Sam, all, all the people uh, that support me at KCAA to know beyond a shadow of a doubt what they're good at. 
what they're, you know, what, what's good about them. So I'll start. So, you know what I'm talking about. I appreciate that. I, um, I'm caring. Like I, I care about people being happy, uh, 88% of the time, not all the time. I'm not caring all the time. Sometimes I step in it, but most of the time I'm caring. So what about you? Um, I could say I'm very passionate about what I do and the people I love. Like, so pretty much I'll do anything for them and for anything I love, I'll do, I'll give 150, 300%. So that's okay. pretty much my passion so drive. So you just did your four passionate, <laughs> you're driven, you're generous and you're committed. Most very definitely. good. Very good. Yeah. So there's your four. I have to catch up. I have three more. Um, <laughs> I'm funny, even though my husband never thought I was. Best thing about divorce is I own my funny. That's mm. two. I am disciplined. So I'm like you. If I have a goal or something that I want to do, even if I don't feel like it, I still mm. do it. Um, I use the gospel according to Nike, which is just do it. And the last one is that I, oh, I'm um, creative. So, so those are the things that I know and I appreciate about myself. So, yay, you just had breakfast with me. Did you like your gratitude sandwich? I loved it. I loved Was it. Was it tasty? Oh. <laughs> Definitely. Beautiful. All right. Now um, I'm going to play the uh, little video that I put together of what happened yesterday. And then okay. we're going to go on break. And then you're going to come back and you're going to answer my question. Uh, I don't have an answering machine. I have a questioning machine. Okay. And it says, who are you and what do you want? So okay. I'm going to let you think about that. You're going to come back and answer that after the break. But first, I'm going to play this little clip that uh, we can comment on. I'll leave the oh. mics on as we're doing because I might ask you about stuff. Okay. This is the scene of the crime last night. Mm. And good evening, it's Dr. Marissa. You know me as the Asian Oprah, and I'm here live in Hollywood, California, at the Man Chinese Theater with the man of the hour who puts a short film together that wins only 11 Indie Awards. I'm so proud of uh, you. Thank you very much. My, my bud, Dr. Greg Reed, he does so many things, and he does it all out of love. So I'm so proud of you. I'm putting uh, some of your actors on the show tomorrow to celebrate. What do you think is the key for people to feel better about what's happening around them? And, you know, holding the breath, the pandemic, the loss. What can they do to feel better? Gratitude, the, the appreciation for what we do have. I mean, we know what we don't have. How many times do we stop and take a look and say, hey, you know what, I get to breathe. You know, every single day I wake up, the first thing I say is thank you because it's a brand new day. And I know other people aren't as fortunate to have the luxuries of life that I do, so I literally stay with that. Did you know your son comes to me on Instagram now? Well, he thinks they're the coolest thing ever. Aww, and I love him. Please give him my love. I That's will. cool. All right, he's in, peace out, world. Peace through, inner peace. Dr. Mercer reporting live with good news, balancing out the bad news with fabulous people, what's right with the world, with people like Greg Green. Bye. And I'm here in Hollywood, I mean Hollywood, for a wonderful occasion. A very good friend of mine invited me to come. He is the guy behind this incredible film that won 11 Indie Awards. Only Dr. Greg Reed can do that. And uh, I just met someone who actually has his name on the poster. So it's kind of important and his lovely mom and dad. But uh, how do you feel right now? Um, I'm really I don't, I don't even know what to expect. This is my first time experiencing something like this. Like I've never been to a premiere of this, this magnitude. So uh, being here is really like kind of nervous because you know you want you want everybody to enjoy this stuff like that. So 
it's I'm excited. That's all I just. All right, excited. and it's sold out. I'm gonna drag you over okay, here no to the problem. red carpet because no I love red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> right over here by your purple. And so, um, did you know when you were little that this was going to happen to you? <laughs> Not at all. So what happened? Uh, how did I get started? Yeah. So, like acting in general? Yeah, yeah. Um, how did I get started in acting? Okay, I'm going to have to ask mom and dad over there. Oh. Like, if you can't answer in time, no. I'm going there. <laughs> no, but um, I was actually, um, uh, my principal, my uh, high school principal actually got me into acting because she came to my chemistry class and I was kind of being a class clown. Ah. And she took me out of the class and she was pretty much like, why don't you do something with that? And I met, and she, and I, was, I didn't know what she was talking about at the time. So I was like, like what? She's like, you're a class clown, so why don't you do something like that? really do something with it. And she put me in a drama class with, actually without me even knowing. Like the next year I went to school, I had drama class somewhere. And wow. then legit from there, it's been, I got here now. What so a now great, great story. And how did you get roped into Greg's production? Um, they actually found me on backstage. So they found me on backstage. They told me they liked my look. They liked my profile and they told me to come audition. And what's crazy, what makes it even crazier is the part I ended up starring in, I did an audition for. Wow. Yeah. I so, auditioned for a lesser role. Right, right. So you must practice some kind of positive thinking because you definitely attracted yourself. Or your mom and dad. We'll give them credit. Yeah, they, they, yeah. Do, they do. I'll give them more credit than me. <laughs> well, that's beautiful. Thank you. So um, were you surprised that it won so many awards? Yes. I, I didn't know what it was going to do because you really, you know, once you put in the work, you really never know what it's going to do. Like, right, you just right. pretty much put your all into it, and hopefully, the world resonates with this. So, yeah. I didn't see any of this coming, but you know, you want to keep a positive mindset, so that's what I tried to do. Yeah, well, this is sort of good for your career. I would say so. I would say it's a step in the right direction. I would a big so. step in the yeah, right direction. That's wonderful. Now, I have a show on NBC News Radio, okay. so I'm going to put you on this little segment okay. tomorrow. Oh, wow. And uh, I, I always ask, my last question is, mm -hmm. to who or what are you most grateful for? Now, you do know that mom and dad are there, so that's the first thing. But in addition to that, <laughs> who are you grateful for or what? I'm grateful for this opportunity. That's pretty much, and see where, see where it can take me. That's what's really yeah. what I'm grateful. For. Wonderful. And what's the best thing that you like about your mom? The best thing I like about it, she's always there. She's always, she's there, always there, and your dad? He's always right there too. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I wish you the very, very best. Thank you so and much. And I expect to see more of these things for yeah, you. I can feel it. You've plan. got a great attitude, and uh, just keep thinking good things. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you. Thank and you. And this is how I sign off because it's all about balance. <laughs> peace, peace in, peace out, world peace. True inner peace. Okay, gotcha. This is Dr. Gotcha. Marissa gotcha. reporting live from Hollywood on the red carpet of Purple Taste. The screenings today, it's sold out 11 Indie Awards by my good friend, Dr. Greg Reed, whose son Colt is my red carpet play guy. And uh, hopefully you'll get another clip of us uh, bumping on the carpet later on. But I wanted to introduce you to someone who's very important to the film and congratulations. Thank you, thank you again, thank you. And good evening, this is Dr. Marissa, you know me as the Asian Oprah, and I'm here live on the red carpet of Purple Cases, a short film that won 11 Indie Awards, and I have some actors here that are actually in the film, if you can introduce yourself, and tell me how you're feeling right now. I never got his uh, handle. I uh, just tagged him. You were Chris? Yes, I was oh, Chris. Okay, I thought you said I was Christ. And I don't remember having that. No, that's person. the follow up. Oh, is that the follow up? Okay. <laughs> I come back to life, you know, in three days. Boom, here. As you are? Yes, wonderful. And how are you feeling? Pretty good. Pretty good, pretty excited. And on my left, I was yelling at her because she was being insecure before she got on the carpet. So I want you to tell me one thing that you like about yourself. My eyes. Yay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. That's good. And your name is? 
Amy Supal. And you're in an actor? I am. Yes. I'm and married. I'm the pot shop manager. The pot shop manager. Oh, did I say too oh. much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's pot? No, I'm just <laughs> And over here, Mr. Dapper. Thank you. I'm Mark Lawson, and I, I own that shop. Oh. I'm the perfect case for that. Oh, <laughs> wow. Well, we're about to go. How does it feel to be in a short film with a revenue awards? Fantastic. Well, I'm so glad. Is there more actors from the film? Squeeze it, Ron. Squeeze it. Get in, get in, get in. John Fiori and Sam. Sam. That was your shot? Yes. Let's go. Just guessing. Alright, guys. Everybody get in. Everybody get in. This is what I do at the end of every show. I'm ready to go So two of my favorite guys, this is Larry Namer and his son Johnny Vegas. They've been on my show. So what is Larry the is best the thing that's happened since the last time I talked to you? Entertainment. Uh, well, I got my last COVID vaccine. I wanted you to move to uh, So I, I feel Johnny relatively safe now and him. I'm beginning to travel a little bit and kind of getting back to normal life. Good. And Johnny? Uh, best thing, uh, we went to uh, my sister's wedding. She got married. Wow. Oh, yeah. I saw yeah. those pictures. Yeah, I, great, I like great that. Great wedding. Great event. That's great. That's great. And any advice for people who are still feeling a little unsure about, is it over? Well, the, the answer is it's not over, and it's not going to be over for quite a while. So to, to my advice is get the vaccines, get the boosters. You know, if you get it, you're going to be down for a few days, but you ain't going to die. So, yeah, go with the science. Sounds good to me. All right, you know the drill. Peace in, peace out. You World peace through inner peace. Thanks, Larry Neymar and Johnny yeah. Vegas. Take care now. You too. Bye. And good evening. This is Dr. Marissa reporting live in Hollywood at the Man Theater at our mutual friend, Dr. Greg Reed. Screening of his we recognize him. award indie That's the founder short film Purple Cases. Of and of course I knew I would see people that I love and have interviewed before. You know him as the founder of Ugg Boots. Hey guys, how you doing? And uh, he has his little interview with me on my YouTube channel, which just passed 255,000 views. Wow, So I'm very happy, yeah, and I'm nine years really cool. on the air, yep. and uh, just so grateful. Yeah, so, what do you say to people who are still feeling a little tentative, you know, COVID, all that? Hey, that's in the past. The, the, the COVID is just the other word for flu, and we're going to get back to normal. And uh, hey, just carry on with your life as it used to be, or, or you want it to be. It's uh, a pretty good time to start now. The whole world is crashing around us, and all those who had huge advantages aren't going to have it as much as they used to. So now, if you've got to use a chance to get started, now's the time. Fabulous. So don't wait. Gospel according to Nike, just do it. We got it. Yeah, and you know the drill. Peace yeah. in, yeah. peace out, yeah. world peace yeah. through interviews. And yeah, we are getting bombed. <laughs> What's his name? 
The after party was at the Godfrey Hotel. Yeah. <laughs> There's the cast. I think I put that picture in. There we go. What'd you think? Oh. There we go. Um, what did you think? Oh, it was great. I loved it. It was amazing. Good, good. So pretty much captured the uh, capture the festivities. Good, good, good. Yeah, I became a filmmaker during COVID. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> yeah, I have a short film out called Post Pandemic Possibilities. Only won two uh, laurels instead of 11. Okay. But uh, Greg's been at this longer than me. Mm. And uh, I, I, you know, I used to do all these little videos on Facebook and, and Instagram and people would say, why are you, you know, why are you doing that? You're not getting paid for it. Well, hello. I got um, contacted by uh, Meta. So now I get paid for my reels, you know, oh. when people watch. So hopefully this will, this will get some love too. So yay, Definitely. yay. And uh, if you've just tuned in and you're wondering what that was from, it was an evening in Hollywood, Hollywood last night. And uh, it was this, what, what was it? The screening or the, or the celebration or the, was, was that the, the first screening? Yeah, yeah, that was the first screening. That was, that the, was first the first screening. screening. Okay. Yeah. The first screening of an award winning uh, short film called Purple Cases and the mug you have, <laughs> the good looking mug uh, uh, on camera in my virtual studio today is one of the lead actors from that film, James Wynn III. And uh, when we come back, we're going to find out who he is, what he wants, and how he landed this role. And uh, for all aspiring actors, this is something you'll want to listen to. For all people who want to hear something positive, then keep it here on Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa, the morning show here on KCAA, the station that leaves no listener behind. Well, she has been dubbed the Asian Oprah, and she just wants all of us to be happy. Dr. Marissa, a.k.a. the Asian Oprah, says the most important thing you can choose is choosing to be happy. You are tuned in to my weekly talk radio TV show called Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa. That's the idea for Dr. Marissa Pay's new book called Eight Ways to Be Happy. Many of us say, I am my own worst critic. Nobody's harder on me than I am. And my response to that is, stop. Back your life with Dr. Marisha Pay. And welcome back. You're tuned in to Take My Advice. I'm not using it. Get balanced with Dr. Marissa, the morning show here on KCAA, NBC News Radio, AM 1050, FM 102.3, FM 106.5, and streaming everywhere. iHeartRadio, Spotify, Stitcher, and my YouTube channel. 
nine years of shows uh, are housed there, as well as my most recent backstage um, interviews with The Temptations, Jimmy Kimmel, and then Halle Berry, John Travolta, Quincy Jones, and more. So free subscribe there. You'll be added to my over a quarter million views now. Thank you to you. I am the number one station at 8 a.m. for Talk News here in the IE. And I am grateful for all the support you continue to give my Happy 88 mission. The Asian Oprah giveaway today is an audiobook copy of my number one best selling book, Eight Ways to Happiness from wherever you are, number one on Amazon, number four on Denver Post. And the best part is if you do all the exercises in the book, you will never hate yourself the same way again. And I'm so grateful um, that it's my job to help you with happiness. Speaking of which, this Friday is a free one-hour Zoom to get happy. If you're, if you know anyone who's having a little, you know, needs a little bit of encouragement and wants to come and ask questions on how to get a little more happy or how to start a podcast or how to, uh, write a book, uh, that, um, you know, you, you have questions and you want them answered, then please do go to drmarissa.life and sign up for this every last Friday of the month at 7 p.m. and get the Zoom link. And then Saturday, you can come to the beach where I will teach you Chinese yoga and help you with moving meditation. Again, that's at drmarissa.life. If you want the audiobook as the Asian Oprah giveaway, go sign in, uh, become part of my Happy 88 family. And the keyword is eight ways. So today's keyword is eight ways, and you'll get that free Asian Oprah giveaway. And today I have in studio a wonderful young man that I met last night. I asked him how old he was, and he said 28, 28. Yeah. And yeah. you're yeah, okay. 28. And I said, you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but that you're too old for me. <laughs> And your mom was like, uh, or it was your auntie. It was very, it was a great reaction. But uh, I have a wonderful gentleman here. He's going to introduce himself by answering my answering questioning machine. So when you call me, it says, who are you and what do you want? So who are you, James, and what do you want? Um, I'm James Wynn the third. Um who am I? I'm a very simple person. I'm a very passionate person. Um, I'm a very driven person. Um, I legit, whatever my whatever I have stuck in my mind, I, I have no choice but to get it done. Like, I have to get it done. If I don't, then I legit will feel unaccomplished in anything. So that's one thing. I'm very driven. Um, I could say I'm socially antisocial. If, if that makes sense. Like I'm an outgoing person, but I'm not an outgoing person. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like depending on the vibe and the scene, it depends on my, my, how I'm, how I interact with people. So like majority of the time, like usually if I don't really know two people, if I don't really know the scene, the vibe, I really stand back and observe first before I just jump straight into it. Cause there are people who legit doesn't matter what it is. They jump straight in. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was on cue with jump. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I usually, depending on the vibe and the scene, um, I usually like sit back and observe to see like, okay, what's what's going on? Who's here? You know, stuff like that. Is this a networking? You know, like what what are we doing and stuff like mm -hmm. that. But if it's if it's a um, a vibe that I'm very comfortable in and I like know people and stuff like that, then I'm very more outgoing and social. But I really like to, I really like to be by myself, really like. Wonderful. And um, when you were a kid, did you know you wanted to do acting? Uh, when I was a kid, no. But once I got to around eighth grade, that's, it kind of hit me. I was watching a movie called Pirates of the Caribbean and Jack Sparrow. <laughs> That's a hot topic right now, James. <laughs> yeah. I know. I know. <laughs> so Jack, so you saw Johnny Depp. Was he yeah, Johnny kind Depp's of your character. Yeah, Johnny Depp's character, Jack Sparrow. I was like, yo, I I can play him. People think I'm him now. So like I can play him. So but yeah. Oh wonderful. Give me a line. 
Um, do I remember? Let me see if I remember. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even remember. Putting you on the spot. First, in the first, that, in the first five. I, I mean. Your voice, you could, you know, you could do radio. You could do just, you know, the 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 timbre of your voice is great. Voiceover. You've um, got thanks, that. Thank you. I'd love to do a voice. I would love to be in the voiceover, you know, scene industry. I would love that. So you know, yeah, well, you can that, branch out there I'll for sure. There. Oh, for sure, you definitely. you can take a clip out of here and send that, you know, oh. just uh, with my endorsement. How's that? Oh, that's, that's <laughs> Dr. Merson, okay. hey, give me the approval. I'll take it. I'll take uh, it. Yeah, you're gonna. You, I'm gonna have to have uh, my payment will be some of your auntie's cookies. Okay, oh, there, right? You. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> she was telling best me the story of best cookies in the world. The yeah, that. yeah. yeah. That's that. That's uh, we'll give her a little uh, shout out right now that you helped her name the company, which is Straight Dough, right? And and my yeah. and my response was Straight Dope. <laughs> <laughs> no, me the luck. Straight, but, dough. Uh, straight Dope. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I love the story. That's what the moment on the carpet when you told me that you were the class clown, yeah, and that it was your principal. Right. Yep. That told you that you know put that uh, a behavior yeah. <laughs> to good to good use because you have a talent there. I said, yep. okay, I have to have him on the show to talk about that. Uh, Tell uh, me, so, uh, are you still in contact with that pr pr principal? I'm actually, I'm actually not still in contact with her, but hopefully one day she'll see this. So shout out, Miss Carlson. Great. I wanted to know her name and what school yeah. was this? Pompano Beach High School in Florida. Back home in Florida. Back home in Florida. So, okay, so you you got the acting bite from Johnny Depp watching that movie. You got the nudge into the drama uh, class. You she mm -hmm. enrolled you without you knowing, yeah. right? I mean, in high school. Was it a high yeah. school? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And yeah. um, and then you were like a fish in water. You loved it. Yeah. What were, yes. what were like, you were, did you ever have any doubt that this is what you wanted to do? Did I have any doubt of this is what I wanted to do? Yeah. Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. When? Sometimes. Um, I have doubt now. <laughs> I have, I you have, have doubt. Oh, interesting. Okay. So let's talk about that because oh. this is the very human thing, right? Mm -hmm. And, and if you talk to a lot of successful actors, they mirror. I had the son of Marion Ross, who okay. I love. She's the Mrs. Cunningham. Your parents will know that show, The Happy Days. I don't know if okay. you do, but Happy Days. Um, and her son came on, Jim Meskimen, mm -hmm. and he said the same thing. Like, it's still, you know, after how many years of being an impressionist or, you know, these actors, uh, I just saw a headline, uh, somebody else uh, deals, oh, um, somebody very successful talks about his insecurity and it's like what you are like an a-list i think it was the, <laughs> the guy from la la land uh i'm horrible uh, with brian, names brian gossman yeah i think it was ryan or somebody somebody can help me on the chat but somebody was talking about his insecurity and he's so like talented and famous so let's talk about that how can okay. you coming off a short film with 11 indie awards still feel uncertain uh because in this industry nothing's guaranteed and uh, so like after you do a project it's unless you already have something lined up like you're pretty much back at square one so and that can be and that's a process to get to book another role unless obviously you're already established and stuff so it's a little bit easier but where i'm from i mean like where i'm where i'm at right now like it's still hard out here so like you, you can go on 20 auditions, 30 auditions and not get one. So now you're really start to think, I'm like, am I, am I good enough for this? Like, should I even be doing this? Is the, is this my, you know, is this the right path that I should be going on? So, and my parents will tell you first time I call my mom all the time, even my dad, he'll be right there. And, and I'll be like, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know. Like I've told my parents multiple times, like I'm lost. Like, mm. I don't, like, I don't like, do I need to come back home? Like, I don't, I don't know. Cause they're back home in Florida. I'm in California. So I'm really like, do I need to come back home? But mm -hmm. my parents, they legit, they, 
instilled me the confidence to like, no, this is what you want. This is what you're out there for a reason. So we going we got your back and all that. So I would definitely say my parents helped me keep the positive or helped me release the doubt. They helped yeah. me definitely help me release the doubt and talking to them a lot definitely helps relieve the doubt. But mm-hmm. doubt definitely creeps back. It's not like when you get it, when you push it out away, it's not like it's out away. Mm-hmm. It's, like real, mm-hmm. it's still real close by. It's right. still, very, still close by, but um, yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm going to give you a couple of tools okay. for the, um, because I believe that all 7.3 billion of us have unique talents, gifts, and abilities that we're here to use and to hone mm-hmm whether we have an audience or not. Okay. So, Mm -hmm. so that's one that the voice that tells you you're not good enough and the voice that tells you that you're not going to make it, the voice that tells you that you're, you're Mm -hmm. only as good as your last success. That's BS. It's a belief system that will keep you from, um, fully experiencing all that life has to offer. Now, if you know that you have, you know, that this is something that you love to do, that's what you f- focus on. And a lot of us don't realize that our our biggest tool in life, our biggest strength is our ability to choose. Our mm-hmm. ability, it's a chit word not, instead of the s word. It's not a C word. It's a mm-hmm. CH word. Choice. So you can have a reaction, let's say, in your industry you're rejected, right? You really, Mm -hmm. really wanted this role. You really, really thought this was going to happen and you didn't get it. And you can have the reaction. "Ah, I really wanted that. You can stomp your feet. You know, I bite my pillow when I'm disappointed. I'm already. Yes. And then, yeah. And then I take a breath and I say, it's always this or better. So if that didn't work, that means something better is coming. Okay. And um, more will be revealed. Like, I don't understand it right now. Right. And I can't wait to see what good comes out of this. So those three things I say on a regular basis, which flips me out of falling into the you know, stinking thinking, worst case scenario, I'm never going to make it as an actor, right? I didn't get the job. I must suck, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry. The first one is I didn't get the job acting so hard. I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm here. That's stinking thinking. Worst case Mm -hmm. scenario is I'm never going to make it, okay? And then the bottom is there's something wrong with me. I call it the effinator, okay? Fill in Mm -hmm. the blank right? So there's something wrong with me. I'm really not that good. And then it becomes personal. So a lot of people slide down that, what I call the labyrinth of shiitake. So Mm -hmm. your job is to catch yourself as quick as you can at the top and then express the, you know, disappointment for, I say 16 seconds or less, because I'm a law of attraction practitioner. uh, I practice the law of attraction and then switch it over by focusing on, and here's where you take your mind and you train it and you say, you know, I have to be sort of good because I got cast accidentally as the co-lead in a short film that won 11 indie awards. Like how does the, I can't, I can't suck. <laughs> I obviously have some (laughs) talent. I obviously am doing something right. I'm only 28. There are people who spend their entire lives with not this level of success at all. Yes, it's hard, but I have drive. I know it's one of my skills. And do you hear yourself approving and soothing yourself? Because the reason why I'm coaching you this way is you have a brilliant future that you do have some control over. Yes, Hollywood's difficult. Yes, it's, you know, one in a whatever. At the same time, you do have the ability to take yourself down or take yourself up. And when you're up, that's when 
all the good stuff happens. And this goes for everyone listening. It goes for everyone who wants to be an actor, everybody that wants to be a writer, everybody that wants to be anything, is that we have talked ourselves or gotten lazy with setting intentions. We've gotten lazy with um, knowing that we have the power that creates the worlds behind us. You know, we, we live in this friendly universe where, you know, no two grains of sand are the same, no drops of water are the same, no leaves on the trees or blade of uh, uh, grass. Each one of us are so unique. That's where we live. And that's the power we have at our disposal. So we're going to play a little game now. This is oh. you setting the intention and, okay. and not squashing that voice. That voice is, you know, the flip side to the critic is the protector. So if you didn't have that voice to sort of keep you in check, you would probably be squished under a car because that's the voice that told you don't run in the street, right? <laughs> or don't put your hand on the stove, right? Yeah. Or, or don't insult the producer, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so you, you, you like that voice to a certain extent, but then to let that voice take you down is what we're trying not to do, okay? So you're ready? Okay. It's called... Wouldn't it be nice if, so this is the game that helps you articulate where you are. You're, you're, you're on a platform. You just got off an indie film, 11 awards. It's going for a pilot. If you're a producer or at Netflix or a major or Hulu, please go look at purple cases. It, it wants to be a, a series and uh, contact my friend, Dr. Greg Reed and tell them Dr. Marissa sent you. All right. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if, and I'll start, okay. Purple Cases got picked up to be um, a, a major series and you got to star as the lead in it. So there's, oh. do you see what I'm talking about? So wouldn't it be nice? Uh, first one. <laughs> that probably been my first <laughs> That's the first one. one. So I did it for you. Boom. <laughs> Thank okay. You. That's the first one. Thank you. Would, Thank absolutely. You. Wouldn't it be nice? Now you fill in the blank. Wouldn't it be nice if? Wouldn't it be nice if um, I could become the biggest actor in the world and really be the best to ever do this? That, okay. that would be nice. Yes. That okay. So wouldn't it be nice if I was recognized as um, an actor with extreme talent. Okay. Do you notice how I switched your intention just a little yeah. bit, right? Yeah. Because yeah. the, you know, the, you don't want to give your voice something to react to the, your critic, right? Oh. Well, who do you think you are to be the best? Da, da, da. But if you perform up to your potential, right. And be mm -hmm. the best actor that you can be with the gift that you've been given, that takes that whole voice out of the picture. Did you okay. see what I did there? Okay. So, yeah. so, so, and wouldn't it be nice if I could acknowledge my own gift, no matter what the circumstances are, no matter how many rejections that I got? Okay. Okay. Do you, do you hear that? Now that's yeah. not saying that you're not going to be recognized. You know, some people go, oh, well, you're just, you know, you're, you're, you're hedging. No, I'm not okay. hedging, but I'm not giving a space for my critic to come in and blast me. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. So, so wouldn't it be nice if I went to a party and someone recognized me and asked me to be in their next production? So there again... It's a, it's an intention that could absolutely happen, right? It's just like I have parking intentions. I almost always get a parking spot, not just a parking spot, but one with, with um, money left in the meter. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> and it's a, and it's a game of mine always because a yeah. You, and, and so I want you to do something that's not acting related. So okay. I, wouldn't it be nice if. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't it be nice if 
I can inspire at least one person to go after whatever it is they want. If I can inspire at least one person to go after whatever it is they want, whether in business, you know, you want to be a doctor, fireman, regardless of what it is, I just hope that you can see me and be like, I'm inspired by that person. Fantastic. You're totally getting the exercise. So that's actually the uh, definition of success that I use from Walt uh, uh, Emerson. Okay. Okay. Well, Ralph Waldo Emerson. Thank you. <laughs> he says that success is to laugh often and much to know that one life is breathed easier because he has lived. And when you have that as your, and I know you do, which is why you're a guest. And I, I, if you can stay there, then all good things will come to you. All, all things that you desire will come to you. And this is an important um, happy 88 tool that ev everyone has access to this. So if you're listening and you've been feeling sorry for yourself for good reason, for the things that you've lost during the pandemic, you can do that for the next 20 years if you want. Everybody went through it. It's understandable, but you don't have to. You can join James and I in this high vibrating place where you yeah. just know that everything happens for a good reason and that you can set the intentions. Um, let's do another one. Uh, wouldn't it be nice if James uh, was seen and could expand his ability to take his craft and um, uh, uh, expand it to other areas like voiceover, other areas like movies, like major movies and other areas like TV and other areas like maybe an acting school for underserved kids, all of that. The fact that you're a black and brown um, uh, male who isn't angry, who isn't, you know, wanting to shoot people with guns, who isn't angry at the system, who is um, an example of uh, blissipline, as I call it. I don't think that's a, I don't think that's an accident because we want balance in, in role models as well. Uh, so I think that's wonderful. Thank you. Do you have another, do you have, yes. And, and I, and I, I have one minute, so I have to sign off. We did our gratitudes. Oh, okay. You ready for this? Yes, this is yeah. Dr. Marissa reporting live from my virtual studio with James Wynn the third. You're going to see his stuff. Go look up him up on IMBD. Use him for your production. Peace in, peace out. World yep. peace through inner peace now. Go have the best day ever. Thank you. Thank you again for having me. Everybody, Absolutely. Have a good day. Absolutely. Thank you so, much. so wonderful. Bye.